coming out. Like, uh, when you see stragglers coming in, in about a, you know 20 minutes or something like that, you know, don't point at them and, and laugh, okay? It's been like 120 years that uh, concert time's always been eight o'clock, so I understand how some people can get it wrong. So uh, a little after a little, this is a better crowd than I thought we'd have on the, uh, after all that time at eight o'clock. I like the idea. I might be able to get home and, and look at the news, you know, if, if the guy couldn't find anything I want to listen to, or get to bed on time for a change, huh? Thanks for being here. Let's start. This is Flag Day. Will you please rise and sing the Star Spangled Banner with Candy? with something we all know. Here at Bandstand Boogie. Gosh, it's good to have family here. <laughs> Yeah. 
Clark Devery. Some people say the same thing about me. <laughs> Some, but very few. That's what I heard about coming from behind me. Uh, on their anniversary, I introduced this couple at a Tuba Santa gig. Deb was playing with me. Mike was tending to Bard at the Moose, which we now call City Hall. God, isn't that great? I, I remember it as, as the Moose Club. Mike was tending bar, and I introduced him, and the rest is history in romance. Here's the arrangement done by Mike for his darling wife, Deb. Here, it, it had to be you. It's a, it's a kid's animal. What year is it, Deb? 27. Oh, God. Yeah. They've been married 27 years, and they're married by the Mary Sax player. All right? That's how, that's how involved this whole mess is. <laughs> gentle tonight. Thank God. Hey, 80 degree crap in June. Ah, Lord. But, hey, Thirsty, my buddy Michael over here with Edward Jones. He's got free water for you and you don't gotta buy anything at all. But, if you're looking for a testimony, I'll give it some other time. But, Edward Jones let me retire. <laughs> Thank God. I finally found a financial guy that can speak English to a teacher. <laughs> Here's one of our new tunes. Burke Bacharach wrote it. And uh, Sergio Mendez in Brazil 66 made it famous. Here is the look of love. And our singer, Ken Johnson. <laughs> Smile. 
Uh, isn't that a great chart? Oh, takes me back to my high school days, so not quite swing, right? A little Latin group. 66, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 53, doing the math. I was 13. Some of you were older than that. Some of these kids hadn't been born yet, I guess. Yeah. Here is uh, a Dizzy Gillespie tune that is uh, Welcome to You Sing Along. And the lyric is easy, and the melody is repetitive. It is saltina, saltina, and the interval is just an octave. Now, you don't have to think about it. All you got to do is say it. And I'll give you a few cues, and before you know it, you'll be grooving along with, with us and Dizzy Gillespie on saltina. <laughs> And unsalted peanuts. And if you ever been down south, they got boiled peanuts. Oh my God! Oh my God! I made a mistake and got them one time. Oh, and I don't throw food away. You can tell, but I thought about throwing them away. That's god awful. People know me well enough that I've got to. Uh, I get to be scripted. Hey, there's books for sales, kids. One is a famous. Oh, that's my book. I'm sorry. I got it. And, and the other is Susan Hintz's book. She's here, and those books are available for a, for the Missoula Big Band Special. Buy two books, mix or match, and save five bucks. Oh my gosh, all proceeds go to the Missoula City Band, and we'll be glad to sign for you those copies. Uh, and Gary, feel free to make this an oh, oh, shoot. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, we've got books for sale, and There's a third author also in the audience right now, my buddy Ron Scholl, the MCAT guy. Say hi, Ron. Hey, Ron. That's right. Ron's got a great book, man. And I was just out <laughs> at, uh, at the site of the, of the chlorine crash. How many years ago was it? 
15 years ago? All right, Ron wrote a great book about that, several books, and uh, even though he hadn't got them here, that book is for sale with a, he's got himself a real publisher too, beyond Google Books. So, books are for sale. Susan, where are you? Where's she selling? Right there, Susan hits. So, please, feel free. They make wonderful birthday gifts and anniversary gifts. Mike? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm in the mood for love. <laughs> God, what a beautiful night, huh? Ah, oh, hey, uh, you notice that Dr. Meg, my personal physician, she got so sick of me that she canceled the, no, no, Meg's not feeling well. We're lucky enough have, to have my good buddy and fellow bandmate from other bands sitting on our keyboards tonight, Jimmy Rogers. Say hi to Jimmy. I put the pinch on Jimmy yesterday, and he was good for it. And we're gonna feature it right here and now. Here is that warm feeling at uh, with the Count Basin.
Jimmy don't need no stinking rehearsal. Oh, man. I uh, dropped by the book yesterday at Jimmy's place over in the Slant Street area. You can tell a musician by his house. I had to squeeze, well, my own particular version, I had to squeeze in the most any house, but to squeeze into his house and right there's his living room and there's a grand, a baby grand piano. And then an upright piano. And then an electric piano. And then a drum set. And that was just on my first view. Yeah, maybe I'm in a musician's house, that's what I am. <laughs> Hey, Rick Candy back. Here is Misty. several purposes. It's a nice way to kick off the season. The big band gets to play for you. Uh, we, we played, we actually uh, had a chance to rehearse and then we went all over town, played in uh, senior centers all over town uh, during the winter time. And uh, this gives us a chance to come out and see you. It also buys the city band another week of rehearsal. It's nice to have a, a week to uh, try to build an ensemble. We had that Monday night. And we'll have one more rehearsal next Monday. We'll be here with the full city band next week and the uh, summer solstice with our guest vocalist, Ellen Peterson, Dean and Dorothy's daughter. 
and she's got a beautiful voice. She's sung with us before, but just, you know, maybe a national anthem or two. She's singing all these beautiful summer songs next week. So we're back every, every Wednesday. And if you want a sneak preview, uh, we've given up going uh, inside for rehearsals. So we're here on Monday nights rehearsing. And uh, here on Wednesday nights gigging, it's wonderful to be outside, especially summertime in Missoula. Oh, here is, uh, here is love just around the corner. Deb Googled it during rehearsal on me. I know it, I'm sorry. I hate it when people take out, but I don't read from it at least, okay? I know it. People stand up and read off their phone. I'm thinking, wait, are they just reading their text messages now? What the? <laughs> Here is, uh, <laughs> that's how long my memory is. <laughs> An old two beat tune, okay. Before the 40s, even. This is uh, from uh, Tin Pan Alley days. Here is the Charles. Hey, if anyone feels like it, go ahead, I dare you. Go ahead, stand up and do the freaking Charleston. <laughs>
another one from the 20s. It just happened to be uh, the tunes that were available. We got, I got a bunch of music from uh, Kathy Doolittle. Uh, before the COVID, her dad ran a big band, he had friends that run big bands, and I finally, during the COVID, had a chance to go through that music, uh, peeled these wonders out of there. Hey, is that ice cream truck over there happening tonight? Is that Big Dipper? Yeah. God bless you. Big Dipper! <laughs> Old punk rockers is what they used to be, right? <laughs> we know that, along with that big a pizza guy, you know, they're all a bunch of punk rockers in their day. You know, they got a mortgage, you know, had kids, had to get a real job. Wait, make an ice cream? Oh, there you go. Hey, want to sing along? This is your chance. Here is five foot two eyes are blue. But well, Candy, you're taller than five two, aren't you? You hear that? Five two and a half. group to be able to be a part of. Everyone shares, you know, it's that Ross and Rob at the trumpet section sharing solos all the time. Dean and Lynn sharing solos. It's not like I'm fighting with kids who all, all want to play the first part at the same time. Just a bunch of <laughs> hip folks that uh, like playing swing music. It's, uh, it's uh, a gas. Now we're going to take a little time off, do the city band, and then uh, we play again this summer down in the bitter. We're bringing this show to the to the, Steve, uh, the First United Methodist Church down in Stevensville. They have a summer uh, program. We'll be down there in August after our city band season is over. Here is another vocal. This one will feature as well a different singer. Here's our drummer, who I didn't, he started out as a guitar player with us. And he's a drummer, he's a singer as well. And his dad was a freaking movie star. Yep, that's right. Just ask him sometime. Here is. Here is Hello Dolly, and he's going to be doing some singing. <laughs> Way back when, so take her out, fellas. 
find an empty lap Fellas, darling, I'll never go away again screwed up his back so he's just in the audience trying to keep low. This is our new buddy Don. There we go. Okay, I don't even try to pronounce his last name. Okay. And he's uh, one of our fine trumpet players, but he's really a great writer. You'll be hearing a bunch of his stuff. This will feature Dean Pond on tenor. Possibly the the uh, the least the, the least uh, yeah, I had something intelligent to say and it's gone. I'll just shut up. Here's a Roger, here's a Roger Miller to it and Dean will, will sing the solo and Lynn will back him up on, on tenor. Here is King of the Road. Locked the eight, locked when no one's around, they sing. 
coming out on this uh, hip summer evening. Oh, it's about time. After that snow from 1st of November till 1st of May, I was tired of that crap, man. Hey, look at that. Poster child for ice cream from Big Dipper. Good going, man. Right on cue, kid. Right on cue, man. They don't have to be 85 to enjoy ice cream. Just ask the fat guy, man. We'll be here next at Me, not, not that kid. <laughs> going to get me in trouble. I'm going to get me in trouble. Thanks so much for starting our summer out so wonderfully. Hey, thanks. There. Michael of Edwards Jones. He'll be around this summer offering water now and then. Big Dip will be here. Jamie doing our sound. Romney doing all the all the uh, uh, MCAT stuff. So all winter long, you can go back and check, our, check out uh, concerts or send them to your relatives to keep them away. That's what I do. <laughs> and uh, hey, this is a freebie tonight, so it didn't even come out and, and tag your pockets, okay? So happy summer. It's, uh, it's almost that sweet time of year where the university kids are gone. The tourists aren't quite too thick yet, but uh, Reserve Street's starting to pile up. We probably have some tourists here. We enjoy you coming, spend your money, geez, why don't we have sales tax? And then go home and don't tell anybody how wonderful our state is, okay? Some of us just got here uh, just earlier than you did, most of us. Hey, <laughs> thanks so much for coming out. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll finish up with one more tune. It's a familiar one, and we thought, that how, how can we not do this? Have a great week, folks. Here is In The Mood. Thank you. 
Thank you, kids. We'll see you next week. Bless you. Oh, hey, them bucks are still for sale. See, Susan? I'll be glad to autograph it. Hell, I'll autograph it twice. <laughs>